All right, we're back playing Final Fantasy VII. We made it to tropical. I think we fight a lot. <laughs> but we made it to tropical Costa del Sol, paradise on whatever. This guy actually, I think. Later in the game, you can come back and buy this house, which just gives you a free in here. But down here is a couple things, including a motor drive, which is a uh, weapon for Mika there. Oh, thanks, nobody. A power source, and inside the chest, we get a fire ring. Which, if I recall, is... Yeah, nullifies fire attacks. The rings are actually very, very helpful in certain instances later. Like, if I wanted to go back and get beta, guess what I could do? Guess what I might do between episodes? Because you can go back across the sea on the boat. <sighs> and actually, that would be a good thing to do. Oh, well, let's go snowboarding then. we are going to the gold saucer. Yeah, they're gonna make money, I guess, betting on chocobos. Thanks for walking away from me while you're talking. Or was, maybe it was the bartender. What's up, buddy? Oh, uh, this guy has a shop. He has... Why? Oh, it's a double gross. Okay, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Things that have double gross tend to either be stronger than stuff, if they're, uh, if they're, you know, easily missable, like the Force Stealer or the Magic Comb, and, or they're weaker to compensate for the fact that they have double growth, like that Platinum Bangle. Now see, if I didn't have uh, Makoto in the party, he'd be sitting right here, and then you could literally kick the soccer ball at him, and he gets mad. Uh, <laughs> only selling uh, materia. I don't know where she got it from, but nothing we haven't, we don't already have. Still not gonna buy one of those. She just got here. Uh, okay, soft. Yes. Uh, they sell soft here. They sell them for a reason. A lot of the enemies in the upcoming area will petrify you, and we're going to buy a bunch of those, just in case. Uh, let's go to the inn for a restoration. Hey, can I play some pool? What? Oh, awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah let's go to bed. Cradled by the sound of the ocean. I do like how this game has bathrooms in it, even though you can't actually ever use them. It's a nice touch. A lot of RPGs don't do, uh, you know, bathrooms like characters never apparently ever go to the bathroom. Or they just don't have indoor plumbing, which I guess is also a thing. What? Oh, he, he just came up from the ocean? Okay, so he had, is he going is he going to the gold saucer then? He, it, yeah, that was today. <laughs> I guess it was yesterday because I stayed at the inn. Hmm, did I miss something? Did I skip? the sequence? Because Hojo is supposed to be on the beach and he's supposed to tell you he's no 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 to head west. Oh yeah, we're rich. 
Oh, okay. So you got to stop by the gold spots. They're going to do this casinos, the amusement park, you know, cross the valleys, whatever, blah, blah. That's how we get there. I, I, did I, I hope I didn't actually lose out on the sequence because, uh, because I left town to save. That would annoy me. <laughs> Aww. Does he have different inventory? He doesn't have any different inventory, so I don't know what she ran off with. Well, I guess... I guess I missed out on that one. That kind of sucks. Is he going to offer to sell me the house now? No. Alright, um... Well, uh, I imagine that you're gonna have to look up on the internet if you want to know what happens. You go see Hojo, he tells you he retired, and... Or he's on vacation. And, uh, yeah. So that kind of nonsense. Uh... That was weird. Now we need to find the path to Mount Coral. There's the gold saucer in the distance. Uh, remember this for later here, these little shallow areas, because we're going to get a, a, a piece of transportation that can take us across this, and uh, it's going to be very useful for skipping the Mount Coral part of the Mount, the Mount Coral area for getting back here, if you ever need to take the boat back to, uh, what is this, uh, Grand, Grand Galan? Uh, it's basically a Russian nesting doll. It's 550 HP, is immune to earth, gravity, and water. Will drop high potions. And actually, uh, the thing is, is that uh, two smaller things can pop out of it. And you'll probably see that in a second. Let's see if I can demonstrate it. 290, 500. Yeah, see there's, there's like Grand Grand Junior. He has 330 HP. He should be about dead too. Let's see if I can get him to pop out. I can't target the guy in the back there. Come on. Right, you know what's fine. It's just, it's a smaller one. It is 110 HP. His name is Grand, Grand Galan Jr. Jr. And nothing spectacular. I imagine if you wanted to keep letting them pop out, you could build up some decent experience. Is that the second fire, or is that fire three? I don't think we should have fire three. Okay, that is the second fire materia. That quake's nowhere near done. Got only 2,000 AP for that? Yeah, AP, this game doesn't come anywhere near as fast as it probably should. What the hell? Is that not supposed to be a dungeon, or am I misremembering things? What? What's going on? I guess you missed out on the Hojo sequence. Is this what I'm thinking of? Okay, I believe this is the uh, path to Mount Coral. Well, yes. Oh, sweet. So Sephiroth did come this way. Huh? That, whatever that was.
I believe this is the dungeon that I'm thinking of. Why do I feel like I skipped something? Because this is the Mako reactor for the coral region. We have uh, Bloat Float and Bagna Drana. Yeah, well, these names are winners. Bloat Float, 240 HP, weak to wind, immune to earth. Hooray. And the other thing is 450 HP and is weak to ice. So let's. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mud, because why not? I mean, sure, I could physically just attack everything, but we have the stuff. Why not use it? I mean, nothing here is too incredibly difficult. You know, fun times, why not? Alright, so you know there. High potion. Again, if the random encounters start to get too excessive in any area, I will turn them off for the time being. So I can just get through the area without... Uh... I would say side quest, but uh, without wasting a bunch of time on... Oh, you have uh, Yeah! I'll show up how you things are when you actually exploit it. Monsters all meant to leak. Now, if I come across another one of those, I'm going to attempt to steal a diamond pin from it. It's a weapon for uh, the photo there. I don't think I particularly care for it, but... Because the magic comb with its its high attack power and double. Okay, here we go. Let's go down here. Up this way. Is there nothing up here? <laughs> okay. What do you really think of? You can just steal high potions from them. Wow. Weird long attack animations for basically nothing. <laughs> Trying to spread out the kill some so the people can start working on their level 2 limit break. Since I already have mine, I will attempt to do less as time goes on. Is there really nothing up here? Doesn't look like it. That was a waste of time. Yours and mine, by the way. And what do we have here? Oh, look, new enemy. We have... Co <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. It's basically a damn cockatrice. This is why they talk about purchasing soft potions will be a good idea because of these... Are they not in? Oh, okay. 420 HP. No weakness. They will steal, drop, freaking get more, any kind of soft on them, so... You know, if you don't have soft, as long as you don't all get petrified in the first, you know, time you face them, you probably won't really have to worry about it. You know, nothing too spectacular. Except they make me a liar by not giving me anything. No, go toward the... stop jumping down there. There we go. Alright, this is actually what I was thinking of. So the path to Mount Coral is basically... That path is basically nothing, as far as I remember. But 
That's it for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. I do not know if I'm going to go back and learn beta now that I have the Fire Ring. I probably will just to have it because, you know, it's good to have at this point for an all-powerful fire attack, even though we have Ifrit now. But I might do it now just so I don't have to do it later. Or actually, no, I'll probably do it the next time I have to go back to Fort Condor. So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support, and have a good night.